Hey guys, what's up? Bradley Overrated here, and I am doing another screenshot thought as it is Thursday. And I would, I've started reading a book, East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I read it almost, actually, I think, yeah, I read it over a decade ago. I really enjoy the book. John Steinbeck is actually my favorite author, and I felt like reading back some of, the, of his stories. So I was reading this, and there was a quote in there. And the quote is what the screenshot thought is from, and it is, Always you must leave a man one escape before death. Now, that got my brain going, just like that. And you get to see what it's like to be me. And it actually did make me, in fact, think of video games at first, because I was thinking of Super Mario Bros., and how when you get to the castle, the original one, the one that came out in 1985... You get to the castle and you fight Bowser, and Bowser's pretty tough. You can't run into him, you can't jump on him, he has hammers he can throw at you, he has fire that he can breathe at you. I mean, Mario's abilities are really weak in comparison to Bowser when you stop and think about that. Bowser should have no problem being able to kill Mario, right? But there's always that one escape. And that escape is you hit that lever and it drops Bowser into the lava and you're good to go on to the next world. And that same can be said for a ton of video games out there. I mean, look at Sonic the Hedgehog. Every time he goes up against Dr. Eggman, Sonic's fast, yes, but Eggman can literally build a robotic empire. Why is it every time you have to fight Dr. Eggman, he can, almost every single time, he always has that one weakness when you fight him? It is Sonic's one escape from death every single time you fight him. There is a way to beat them. And I know it's a video game, but it rings very true with this quote. Now, John Steinbeck, when he writes in the so many excellent quotes from every single one of his books, he's talking about the real world and... That's what made me really stop to pause and think here. Because in a video game, yeah, it's really easy. Yeah, there's always a way to escape death in a video game. That's kind of the point in a video game. It's not realistic. But then I think about sometimes, like, how I could just be driving down the street and... Boom! A diesel comes out, crashes into me, and my life is over in an instant. And you think to yourself... I didn't have one way of escaping. If I had, I had, I had an infinite ways I could have avoided this situation. If I had just chosen to brush my teeth this morning instead of just walk out the door. If I didn't stop to make sure I locked the door. If I had just not even gotten in my car in the first place. What if I had checked the mail five seconds before I got in my car? Do you see what I'm saying? I, you have an infinite number of ways to avoid a situation like that yet you see these moments and it seems almost as if it's fate or destiny that your time is up and there's a lot of times I know a lot of people in my life they've had their loved ones taken away from them way too early unexpectedly I've had family members that have drowned I've had family members that have had cancer I've had to witness a fair amount of death in my life and in some cases, you know, they've lived a full life, but in my experience, like I had a friend back in elementary school, he got in a four-wheeler accident where the four-wheeler toppled over him and he suffocated because of it. And think about all the different ways that could have been avoided, and yet when his parents got up at his funeral, I remember them saying, I guess it was just his time. It just never really sat well with me because there's so many infinite ways that can be avoided. Why couldn't one of those instances have happened? Why did I have to lose my friend at that time? That's the crazy thing. And this is kind of... When I read books and I play games, this is the type of... These are the thoughts that go through my head on a weekly basis. If you want to know what type of person I am, these are the things that I think about secretly. you get got to really know me with these screenshot thoughts, and that's what I like the most about doing these. And I'm very happy to share this one with you, and I'm sorry it sounds kind of sad and it sounds kind of depressing in a lot of ways, but it's how I think. And every day, you know, I always make jokes, and I'm always, I'm very lighthearted. I am a very 
optimistic person, but I really appreciate life for what it is because I know for a fact that I could wake up the next day and I could die. It's just the reality. I've come to accept it. I'm not afraid of death. That's just how things are. And as crazy as it sounds, in this life it seems like there's an infinite number of ways to avoid a certain instant where you could die. But it never feels like it. It feels like when it's your time to go, it seems like it's your time to go. So I guess the only thing that you can do on this life, you know, is just love the ones you have and appreciate them. Make sure you let them know that you love them because you don't know when you're going to go. And most importantly, you don't know when they're going to go. Now, I hope to have a long and prosperous life. I really do. I plan on it. But just wanted to say I love you all. I love my family. I love my wife. You're all awesome. <laughs> So, sorry if this was a little bit more on the serious side of things, but that's kind of what the screenshot thoughts are for. And as nice as it seems like we can always have one escape from death, like in video games, unfortunately, in reality, that's not always the case. But thank you guys for listening. I'm Bradley Overrated. Have a great day. Live your life to the fullest. And don't take anything for granted.